Greetings, everyone. It is me, Johnny, and not Lewis, also known as Hayden Eddings. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this totally is a filler. No. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> or better known as typing well, blank. <laughs> yeah, why don't you introduce yeah. yourself? Uh, uh, channel typing blank. I don't know, I do game reviews and stuff. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, what we're doing tonight, which is totally not filler, is we're reading our TV Tropes page on TV Tropes. Oh, really? This has gone so meta. Yeah. <laughs> we're reading yeah. the TV Tropes page of ourselves for our channel, in which the TV Tropes page is based on. No, we're not stroking our dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, sh oh, uh, okay. Since we're really reading the entire page, so we can just go all read off the intro sure. and like take. Yeah, sure. Our, I'll be our, good. our page isn't that long, so. No, it's really not that long compared co compared to like Hellfire. It's not that long. <laughs> okay, I uh, shall start. Brainscraft commentaries links to our channel, or quote VSC for short, is a commentary group on YouTube based created by Nearman Two Fourteen, Solaris Paradox, and some call me Johnny. Inspired by Hellfire commentaries, which links to Hel which links to Hellfire Comms' as TV Toes page, the trio perform video game and movie commentaries as well as an occasional random rambles and quotes, ranging from discussions of various relevant topics to the lampooning of a list based opinions such as well known of well of such well known gaming media outlets as IGN <laughs> links to their sites like they need to, and GameSpot like they need to link to those two sites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Known for their professionalism, as might Ray, Child, Ray Charles, being known for his accuracy at the shooting range, which links to black comedy, these three up-and-coming commentators aim to provide various laughs at any cost, even at the price of their own intense boredom. As such, there's like now. <laughs> yeah, basically. As such, there's nearly as much padding in their commentaries as there's games they routinely limp past. <laughs> uh, I'll do it here. Nairman, Ryan Malice, could be considered the brains behind the operation, as it was his harebrained idea to start the group in the first place. The idea was first pitched to Solaris, Lewis, not pronouncing that last name, a, few me a fellow member of the Sonic fan forum, who then invited Johnny, that's me, to take part. In addition to three main commentators, the team occasionally invites along a guest, highlighted, to join them in the fun as a fourth commentator, such as not Lewis. Sometimes planned, yeah. sometimes at complete random. Guest commentators include Big Al, Spax, your brother Elliot, Ted for a little bit until future parts, Clement, and Fastest Thing Alive. And now added to that list will be Typing Blank. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and Hairbrained idea. Yeah. Well, I do, have the, I, do have, right. I do have the best hair out of the group, so. Yeah. Best being subjective. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, you start off, Ryan. Now let's let Hayden start it off. <laughs> okay, let him start. Uh, okay. Just read the, the first TV trope. Okay. Actually, pretty funny. Whilst commentating on Dragon Ball Evolution, a movie that two thirds of the team deemed as undiluted cinematic incarnation of. Fico matter. All three commentators actually had to admit that Goku's hair gel gag was actually pretty funny. And the undiluted thing cinematic incarnation of Fico matter leads to so bad it's horrible. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I mean, here's another thing: two thirds of the team. Which one of us thinks the movie's good? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyway, uh, well, afraid I, of I, needle. I, was I mean, it? I, I'm just saying, hell, this is this Dragon Ball Evolution is Big Al's bad credit card. <laughs> 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 okay, well. Anyway, uh, next up, afraid of needles. Solaris explains why he hates needles in part 14 of the F Zero playthrough, along with much other shit that goes on in that damn playthrough. I don't remember that playthrough that much. <laughs> <laughs> Links to part 14 in the thing. Yeah, yeah it does. A anything but that. When playing Needle Man stage to fight Dr. Robot in Mega Man 3, Nair Man <laughs> fails to successfully make it across a large chasm before his energy runs out. Hilarity ensues. <laughs> oh, indeed. <laughs> 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 uh, 
But by the way, I just found out now that it's pronounced chasm, not chasm. <laughs> Someone what? chewed me out for that. Because I, I pronounced it as chasm in my Metroid Other M review. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, I, said, I remember it's re- cast up <laughs> I remember reading that comment it's like wait he's right I wasn't really thinking of that but now every it's time like, I that was a good picker <laughs> that was a good review oh thank you I appreciate it anyway uh next, next judge it turn Hayden. Hayden uh born, born lucky Naraman has some incredible luck during the Mario 2 playthrough. Some examples include killing an enemy by jumping <laughs> under it and making a wall jump. Hey, that was all intentional. It's all supposed yeah, to be yeah. fucking impo- That's supposed to be impossible. But it's not. I'm just that fucking awesome. <laughs> Johnny, your turn. Captain Obvious. Snareman points out Lara's unfortunate concussion in the Rondo above playthrough around 6.15. Lara, I, I, I think, think they, they mean, mean Marissa. Maria. Maria. <laughs> and you, you got it wrong, too. God fucking it's damn it. Maria. <laughs> well, let's pretend her name is Lara for the time being. Why Lara? <laughs> I don't know. I guess someone misheard Maria as Lara. Okay, next is catchphrase. Nearman, aka me, apparently has three of these. Yay! Poor Quad! Huzzah! <laughs> Even though I really don't Huzzah. do poor Quad all that much. <laughs> you don't yeah. say poor Quad as much as you used to. And but you su- definitely say yay and huzzah a lot. And subsequently, yeah, Solaris seems to have one too. Quote, here's the joke and here is my head. <laughs> yeah. Aiden. Uh, companion cube. All three members are totally inf- oh. infatuated. <laughs> Infa- infatuated with the companion cube in their portal playthrough. Solaris named it Buffalo or Biffalo the Third, much to Johnny's confusion. Yeah, much to my it, confusion too. And I made it a pirate, <laughs> which was a complete, which was a completely <laughs> unintentional Sonic Colors reference. <laughs> what yeah. what the, that was a Sonic Colors reference? No, I, I, I it was it was a. Sign, sign. It was an accident one because we didn't know that cutscene in Sonic Colors before we recorded that. So <laughs> I haven't pure, played that game yet. Coincidence, either that or I have psychic powers that see into the future. <laughs> in which case, yeah. why didn't I see Lewis's computer blue screening? Uh, <laughs> nobody can predict the, <laughs> the blue screen. Hell, my what brother's you... three sixty. My brother's three sixty just red ring two days ago. <laughs> Oh, your turn, Blech. Johnny. Crowning moment of funny. Most recently, in part two of the Sonic 4 episode one commentary, when Johnny goes into special stage four, the very first instant he hits a bumper is when we're flooded by Pingus. Bumping as usual, I see. I know FTA really enjoyed it. <laughs> the best part about that link to part two is that it starts exactly at 258. Yeah, right exactly where the Pingus first <laughs> enters the video. <laughs> but uh, hold on. Let's see, in their portal playthrough, the crew constantly says we when flying through portals. GLaDOS joins in on their fun trying to be one of the guys. It's funny, I thought we were trying to be GLaDOS. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, goody, another one of these. Cruelty is the only option. <laughs> if the Mega Man 3 and 4 playthroughs are any indication, Nairman's motto seems to be, if I have to suffer play through this part of the game, you have to suffer watching it. <laughs> Cue screams of Lewis and Johnny in the background. Do the honors with the quote, Johnny. I'm not doing that. I'm not, doing not in the, no, not, no. I don't want to rape anyone's ears. And I'm then everyone be- that's watching just skips ahead in the video. I'm going to do better with the editing with the, n- the next Mega Man games, <laughs> god damn it. <Yeah>. Good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, it's your turn, Hayden. Hey. Alright. Okay. Deadpan Snarker. The crew reports to this form time to time. It seems to be a favorite method of Solaris, though whether or not he actually, though whether or not he's actually funny, shall be left up to the individual watcher. Individual <laughs> watching. <laughs> I actually think that's what I think that's what that, that's what really sells Lewis's humor is because he's such a deadpan. <laughs> yeah. Like um, 
uh, one immediate example I can think of is when Ryan was singing <laughs> Still Alive at the end of the Portal playthrough. Right? <laughs> Lewis. Lewis just goes, I he really just gives up. He just fucking gives up hope. <laughs> it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, it's the it's it's that dead pet approach that I think really sells his commentary. Yeah, is he, is he the Leslie Nielsen of internet commentaries? You decide. My turn. Rest in peace, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Did not do the research. Whenever they do a random ramble on a top one hundred countdown list or anything similar, there is usually at least two among their number who have no idea what most of the game shows or movies on the list even are. They are at least cognizant of this fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and damn proud of it, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> I I thought it was weird in like the list of like the top hundred villains that Solaris just totally ruined the end of Infamous for everyone who hadn't played it. Uh, that's what we do. <laughs> oh <laughs> we, yeah, we don't give a shit if you never played the game or not. In fact, it was like the first, like the second part of the Mega Man X two playthrough. <laughs> Surprise, it's Sigma. <laughs> Sigma's the last boss, by the way. <laughs> I thought that wasn't fucking obvious at this point. Yeah. Sigma's the final boss of all the fucking games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Discretion shot. Or discretion shot. I don't know. How, whatever. Hey, whatever. Say, isn't it Hayden's turn? Is it? Alright. Yeah. Um, a preferred editing method of Johnny. Wherever he completely fucks something up as a... Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, I can't read. <laughs> Why are you nervous, <laughs> dude? Nobody can see your face. They only hear your voice. Okay. A preferred editing method of Johnny, whenever he completely fucks something up, as in Sonic 4, for instance... Getting yep, killed by cool. the final boss in this pinch attack. Always edit. Uh, if I fuck up something... I'm going to edit it out. Unless Super it's Metroid, ninety nine percent completion rate <laughs> rating. Wait. <laughs> no, but we want to sit around for five extra minutes watching you do the exact same thing over again. <laughs> That's exactly why I edit it out. <laughs> Johnny, your turn. Uh oh great. Yeah, you wanted me to read no wait, yeah, that's the next one. Uh, don't explain the joke. Nairman has a bad habit of doing this. God damn it. <laughs> this page really seems to hate me. Yeah, it does. Because <laughs> the next one's about you, too. God damn it. <laughs> no. Dull surprise. <laughs> Nairman has a tendency to sound rather bland sometimes. I think that would, that, that would go... No, that wouldn't be a deadpan smucker. It's not my fault I'm boring. <laughs> Oh. Ooh, goody, it's Here. this one. Uh, do you want to do it, Johnny? Or oh, yeah. hey, where are all of the ones about me? <laughs> there will be after this one. <laughs> Typing blank, can't read. Uh, Nervous as okay. fuck. <laughs> Epic <laughs> fail. Johnny's encounter with Storm Eagle during the Mega Man X playthrough. <laughs> he didn't die during the fight, but to be taken down to an inch of his life by the easiest boss in the history of the X series was fail enough to stand in as an example of this trope. Whenever a similar occurrence of Epic Fail occurs, the above example is referenced as a running gag by quoting the words, It's Storm Eagle! Narrow Man had recently surpassed, or would it be sank lower than Johnny since he was killed by Toad Man? <laughs> it's not my fault he didn't jump. You fucked up on Toad Man. It's Storm Eagle. <laughs> and then you went on to completely perfect him in your ex. Yeah, I curb stomped that motherfucker in my LP. <laughs> you redeemed yourself. Yes, I did. And I'm damn proud of it. <laughs> Hayden, your turn on the next one. <laughs> uh, uh, so, by Johnny in the Portal playthrough, when he mentioned that a possum is in his room and calls it to everybody's <laughs> attention. <laughs> yeah, I still don't get that. Well, it wasn't a joke. I was being serious. <laughs> There was a possum in your room. Yeah, there was an actual possum in my room while we were commentating Why? on. I don't know how it got into my room. If I knew, I would have told you guys. <laughs> it, I, we don't I have see, possums. 
So uh, well, you, you, my, <laughs> you just climb into people's my, rooms. My room has my my room has its own separate bathroom. And the way my well, the way my my computer and chair was stationed, and you can see the inside of the bathroom, and underneath the sink is this is this hole where the the drain pipes go through. Somehow, a fucking possum got inside that hole, and it decided while I was commentating to stick its head out. Ooh. I caught eye of that motherfucker, and I just had to say something. Oh. <laughs> All right, moving on. Everything's better on drugs. <laughs> Johnny's painkillers he needed to take after a trip to the emergency room <laughs> caused for some questionable content during the Zero GX playthrough. I read a fucking ingredient label. <laughs> it is debatable, however, whether or not this commentary was a consequence of the painkillers or of extreme boredom. <laughs> I would say both, actually. <laughs> and then I went in and, an and put in Animaniacs for no reason. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Follow the leader. This group is a self-proclaimed ripoff of Hellfire commentaries. <laughs> it's also possible that this very page is a ripoff of a certain other page. Which I'm, I'm sure that links to theirs. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. Mentioned near the end, Johnny mentioned both he and a friend of his wanted to make a drunken Let's Play, which has been done by tipping 40s no idea yeah. who they are uh, they do drunk let's plays well apparently i gathered that much <laughs> whether or not they whether knew, or not go on yeah. oh. whether or not they knew of the team or not prior to the plan is unknown well johnny apparently did so now we can edit that <laughs> <laughs> johnny fritz Logic. As mentioned below, Solaris loves to point out anything in games that wouldn't apply to real life at all. Because <laughs> he's completely missing the point. <laughs> and other TV tropes. Yeah. <laughs> Grammar not C. The sheer number of edits made by Solaris when he was tinkering with this wiki page. If wiki edits could t kill, the world would have ended that <laughs> night. Did you see this page when he edited it? Yeah. <laughs> Subsection. Solaris also plays his language dictatorship in Vision Straight commentaries as well. Such as that time during the F-Zero GX playthrough where he got on Johnny's case for saying vampirish instead of vampiric. Just a fucking <laughs> word. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and another subsection. The intro crawl for the Sonic 4 Let's Playthrough, parenthesis, see below example of incredibly lame pun, was redone many, many times as Solaris fussed over inconsequential grammar aspects and wording issues. Nair Man finally snapped, refusing to do it again. To this day, Solaris swears his original text was funnier. <laughs> Seriously, he wouldn't let me stop re-editing it for like a fucking hour and a half. I know, but he's just... Uh, what, what, like, why, though? I mean... Well, that's like, why, how many that's why I fucking snapped and refused to do it again. <laughs> it was so pointless, the things he was doing. It's like, fuck it, I'm leaving it alone. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Because, of course, the only program we have in which to make that crawl is on my computer, so I had to do all the work. <laughs> <clears throat> Me? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Hell is that noise. Uh, the random Mario sound effect in part 10 of the Super Metroid playthrough, quote of Solaris and Johnny, what the fuck was that? What the that? fuck was that? <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. It's like, it's like I open, finally, a, open, yeah. open a door. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. It was definitely on my end because you know what it was. It was probably check the time code of when that Mario sound effect happens <laughs> on that part, and then check the previous part <laughs> and see if this Mario sound effect happens around that exact same time. Because I think I forgot to remove delete all the audio tracks so or remove it entirely, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's just laughs> I did. I did like. I did like Solaris' description as the sound that Mario makes when he runs into someone in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. All right. Incredibly lame pun. At the instance. At the. In ugh. At the insistence of Solaris, Snareman included a Star Wars intro crawl in the first part of the Sonic the Hedgehog Four Episode One commentary, titling the episode "The Fandom Menace." Just in case you're tough. wondering, we're probably not going to be doing that for episodes two. No, or no, we're not. <laughs> it was a one-time gag. 
Especially considering it got blocked in Europe. <laughs> Unless you want me to take the space balls route. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? The video got blocked in Europe? In some parts of Europe because of the track you, we used. Because, yeah, because the Star Wars main theme was blocked in, for some reason in Europe. <laughs> in, Why? Uh, I have no idea. No idea. Because George Lucas hates Europeans. <laughs> Well, he hates uh, everyone to, if you take it based on how he's ruined the Star Wars franchise over the last 20 years. Okay, in harm's way. Johnny repeatedly states that he is reckless during the Mega Man X series games, causing him to put himself in danger or close to getting killed a few times. You mean I don't die? <laughs> <laughs> Kleptomaniac Hero. During the No More Heroes playthrough, Nariman displayed a bizarre and extremely pointless desire to activate every fire extinguisher in the building on his way to a certain boss. I didn't know Solar they were supposed to put you out of fire. <laughs> what? Not that, I, not that I ever get hit. I didn't yeah, know they were I didn't even... put out the fire because I've never gotten hit by those guys, so I didn't know you could catch on fire. Yeah, me either. I didn't even use them. But I didn't feel the need to turn them all on either. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're getting the hang of being a BS here. <laughs> more practical. Oh yeah, subsect. Solaris is more practical. He's only a raging klepto when it comes to things you can actually collect, although they may still be completely pointless. As are the silver medals in the Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 playthrough. And he'll still probably have a compulsive urge to collect them and not quite be able to suppress it. I, I will say this now. <laughs> when I get to uploading the rest of the Sonic 06 parts, I am incredibly guilty of this. <laughs> oh, you still go, you're still raging and, klepto and go for them. And, and, and no, uh, it, it, it was completely accidental, but it's going to look like I purposely did it for the silver medal. But uh, we'll get to that later. <laughs> Whenever Lewis gets a fucking new computer and we can record more of it. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, we, I, we, yeah, in terms of dialogue, I mean, Lewis is, Lewis is gone. I mean, I took over the rest of that playthrough, and it's already... And we, and we all thank you for it. Yeah, and I, you know, everything's edited. I just got to get to uploading it, assuming my internet doesn't die. <laughs> what do the silver medals do? Nothing. nothing. <laughs> they do absolutely nothing. <laughs> they are for achievements, and that's it. And even uh, then the PS3 version doesn't give you all that much, so what's the point? No. The PS3 version doesn't even have trophies, so it's even less oh, pointless. It's even more pointless. Yeah, even more <laughs> pointless, yeah. Yeah. Limited sound... Oh, wait, Johnny, I think it's your turn. Limited sound effects. Behold the majestic and multi-talented Naraman 214 as he lends his much-need dose of amb ambiance to an epic showdown between Leon S. Kennedy and a squad of zombie cultists. Bang. Honk. <laughs> that... Queef. Bonk, queef, <laughs> swipe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I was rewatching that like two days ago. <laughs> because the title of the episode is so easily recognizable. I just have queef <laughs> on the episode title. <laughs> All right. Madness mantra. Solaris nearly goes insane while watching that entire <laughs> full-length part of Nair Man farming for ammo in Mega Man 3. To the point where he had delusions of drawing magic in Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> I think is one of our funniest moments, by the way. Yeah, I do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this happens uh, again during the No More Heroes 2 parking lot section, although the madness was not so severe. Really? I thought it was just as severe. <laughs> that part of that game was, wow, just ridiculous. So dumb. And then it comes back in full force during the F-Zero GX gameplay. Glow is just a small sample. Johnny... Come and knock on my door. <laughs> Come see what's waiting for you. <laughs> I don't remember the rest of the theme. Three's company, <laughs> too. <laughs> and then you, then you fresh prince to everyone in the yes, second to last part. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, Miles Gloriosus? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Mere inches away from losing his final life. At the point he'd... And the points he'd amassed. Throughout the game, Nairman cowardly hovered on the sidelines during the final boss battle of the multiplayer Turtles in Time reshelled playthrough. 
He steals the last blow. Fuck yeah, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Nary man out of nowhere. After all three other. It's <laughs> using the glory strategy of hit and run. <laughs> <laughs> you got all the EXP. Exactly. He got the five score because he was such a fucking coward. <laughs> but like, not like it does anything. I had to win. Like, like if you had a cash prize, yeah, sure. <laughs> Check it out. But it's just points. You want, uh, you want me to read the last probably, I'd probably be doing the same thing when we do our X Men game. <laughs> All right, so, Johnny, your turn. Most annoying sound. I was <laughs> I was frozen today was the particular catchphrase used during the Turtles in Time playthrough, notably by that playthrough's guest commentator Spax Three. On its own, the line is a perfectly good laugh from a nineties film, so Rubbing Commando. Repeatedly constant repeated constantly at high decibels, not so much. <laughs> I still don't get that line. It's even it, it, when it was said by the Soldier Critic. It's from a sub- it's from a sub- it's from Suburban Commando, which is a yeah. I know. I watched the review. It's Chris- no, he was it's, just- it's Christopher Lloyd being silly. It's Nerdy Christopher Lloyd being know. silly, and just now reacting to the point where he got frozen for okay. some reason in the movie. <laughs> okay. Oh no, not again! During Ring Man stage in Mega Man Four, Name Man repeatedly runs back and forth across the gas to recharge Mega Man's health meter or farm lies. Rusukiru. And guests end up moaning in despair, fearing the retread of his Mega Man 3 fiasco. Spoiler alert. Fortunately, he doesn't really grind all that long. No. Thank God. <laughs> <clears throat> Once an episode, Solaris, Johnny, and Nary Man make a shit ton of Sonic references. <laughs> 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 that about sums up the entire paragraph. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One of us. Naraman and Johnny have frequently mentioned this very wiki in their videos, even listing some shows by name. Solaris, on the other hand, never bothered to join the site until the page was made. See the above example of Grammar Nazi. And one of, when one of their subscribers started this page, and Iron Man couldn't resist uploading a video to brag about it. And, <laughs> and now, now we're giving a, a two-hour-long advertisement <laughs> for TV tropes. <laughs> By making a video about TV tropes about a YouTube channel, which is us. <laughs> <laughs> this is so needlessly convolu- convoluted. No. This is so filler-related, it hurts. <laughs> this is so non-canon, it's painful. <laughs> yeah, I saw the Christmas special, too. <laughs> but, um... Oh, uh, who's who's next? Is you too, Ryan? Actually, only sane man. Solaris seems firmly rooted in reality as he constantly nitpicks or rants about anything in games that wouldn't make any logical sense in the real world, which links to completely missing the point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, hold on. Re- 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 Solaris re- makes re- this re- argument re- when re- start mm-hmm. over. You cut out for a second. Sorry. Oh, sorry. So you were saying. Solaris makes a solid argument about Mario 64's power-ups being highly situational and gimmicky, only for Nairman to completely ignore him by pointing out the goofy music, the theme played in the Vanishing Cap Cavern, played during his rant. Oh, like the galaxy power-ups aren't situational and gimmicky. <laughs> I know, but he did. He did bring up a good point. You just completely ignored him. <laughs> A uh, running gag. Certain gags and themes show up repeatedly across a number of videos, such as Johnny's old shame. I'm guessing that's a Storm Eagle. Storm involved. Eagle! The team running the G.I. Joe Mad Mantra to the ground, and Solaris and his constant Sonic references. And an outburst of the word NUCLEAR whenever there's a quibble about pronunciation. All right. Which, by the way, if anyone doesn't get the nuclear reference, it's from, it's from Get Smart. The movie gets smart. Where I think, like the boss of the organization, just screams out "nuclear" when the guy next to him cannot pronounce "nuclear" for the life of him. Oh, I thought and it, it just—I thought it was a Simpsons reference where the same thing happens. No, no, because the guy—the guy next to him is pronouncing "nuclear" wrong the entire, like throughout the entire 
dialogue, and he finally just snaps and says nuclear. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. yeah, that's where it's from. All right, rule 34. An obvious oh, joke that Solaris in particular exploits whenever possible. One example occurs during Super Mario Bros. 2 Lost Levels commentary. Solaris, let's see, veggie porn, munitions porn, weather porn, and now uh, fire porn? Wait, wait, why fire porn? Who mentioned fire porn? How do you fuck fire? <laughs> and Hayden, you get the last one. All right, let's not screw this up. <laughs> you can do it. You uh, can do third it. Per I don't know if I can. Oh, okay. Third person person. Almost every time he posts a channel comment on their joint YouTube account, Solaris forgets to sign his name as part of the comment. He then remembers, comes back, and adds an additional comment reading, said Solaris, to, clear, uh, to clarify who posted the comment. <laughs> well, that was an anticlimactic ending. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, we can always click on Botchmania. <laughs> Botchmania. <laughs> Web original. Or Brent Smalley's video game world. And look, there's an advertiser for State Farm. Cool, so you can now buy a car and home insurance while you're reading stuff about internet commentaries. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it obvious we're padding? <laughs> padding, padding, padding. Hey, on the bright side, we have unlimited video upload time, so this can be one video. Yeah. That's another thing, though. I mean, the Archives channel can't upload videos longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> That's because of the Batman parts. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Don't worry. So how's that going to work? I, when I upload them to the main channel, I'm going to use the full version so it won't, and then put... I'm going to take the full version with the audio music already there, and then re-export it with the commentary on it, so it really shouldn't tag the music. No, it, should, it shouldn't tag them because... Uh, all of my all the Rondo of Blood parts in the Raw channel were tagged. Uh, they're blocked in Germany. <laughs> um, but um, when I uploaded it for the, the main channel, it didn't catch any of it. So It should still be fine. It yeah. should work, yeah. All right, do you have anything left to say about the TV Tropes page? <laughs> filler. <laughs> it's fucking filler. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. This is so non-canny, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, fix your fucking computer already! 